hi everyone so for today's video i'm gonna teach you on how to um, create a perfect soil for our hanging pots what we need right now is a coconut husk we are going to use coconut husk and of course for safety precautions since this is very hard we have to use um they call this gloves so that hindi tayo magkakasugat-sugat pag uh, pinareso-pireso pina natin to coconut husk. And then, so what we have to do is alisin lang siya from, the, from its original kasi matigas. We don't need that. Kasi ang kakapitan lang nung ating pinakahalaman would be the soft one. So, ibang yun This one. The fiber is the thing that we need for our um, hanging pad. So, hindi ba pwedeng soil na lang? Actually, the soil eh, um, for plants, we have to use a soil less because there are different um, possible infections that the plants might get from the soil. So, through this, this one also, it's very uh, aside from it's soft, madali lang siya mag-drain yung water and aside from that is hindi nabubulok yung pinaka-roots ng plants natin. So that's why this is the thing that we are going to, to do. Ayan, medyo mahirap. Kaya you have to use a glove. Uh, a gloves for this particular um, process. And, mm. So from this, na coconut has na ginamit natin, ito na siya. So this is the thing that we are going to use for our hanging pots. On this process, pinapainitan natin yung kuchilyo or any metal kasi bubutasan natin yung paso. Ilalim natin siyang itatanim. So that is how we are, uh, we are going to do what we are going to transfer um, into our hanging pot. So, ayan. Nabutas na natin siya. Ayan, nabutas na siya. We are going to transfer our uh, fern and some of our hanging plants. So, pababa. Pa-drop down ang magiging uh, eksena natin for our hanging plants. And also, I'm also propagate or transfer this
curly um, spider plant. Pero hindi naman siya pahika. So, paganyan naman. So, I'm gonna teach you two um, way of presentation in terms of our hanging plants. So, the first thing that we are going to transfer into our hanging pot would be this plant. So, this plant could be presented in this way, just the usual thing, or the inverted way. So, pwedeng pa ganyan. So, I like it presenting it this way. That's why, binutasan natin yung pots kanina. So, papasok lang natin yung plant dun sa butas na ginawa natin. Yan, that was, uh, it was very perfect, uh, perfect fit. Then, yung mga uh, chin up natin kanina, yan, pwede pa natin mas iitan yan. Para yun yung ilalagay natin doon sa may loob ng ng pot. So, are we going to use soil for this? No. So, soilless tayo because uh, there are different infections that plants may get in terms of the soil. So, we are going to use this one um, for our plant. So, ganyan lang. Ipapasok lang natin siya sa may loob. Ayan. And aside from that, pag coco kasi yung coco has yung ginamit natin, uh, mas mabilis pa drain yung water. At the same time, mas mabilis din ma matuyo yung water. And this plant actually needs a lot of water. Matakaw sila sa tubig tong hanging plant natin ganito. So, yan. Nalagay natin siya lahat dyan. Papalibot lang natin sa may, ayan. Papalibot natin siya sa may pinaka ugat niya. Para dyan siya kakapit. The roots is the most important thing when it comes to plant and the roots are dependent on the soil component of the plant. So, importante yung ganito yung ating uh, soil. And then, we might also be, uh, you would, uh, if you would like to use also a cocoa peat, ayan, pwede din siyang lagyan ng a little bit of a cocoa peat. Lagyan natin siya ng konti. Konting cocoa peat. Para mas ma-hold yung moisture. And then, on top of it is another cocoa husk. Yung ganyan lang. The next thing that we are going to transfer is this particular hanging plant. Just like the first one, um, I also like it presenting inverted way. Kasi it's difficult if it's like that. So, paganyan tayo. Inverted ang ating design for this. So, this is a bigger hole for this plant kasi it has a bigger roots for it. So, we are going to insert. Ayan lang. I-insert lang natin. Look at it. It's like a jellyfish. Ooh. Right? So, it's very nice. So, it will, if your plant is very long, um, you can actually present it in an inverted way. Pero mas maganda siya tingnan. It's like that. It's like a jellyfish. Okay, so just like um, on the first plant, it also needs some of this. So, same process lang din tayo. Ilalagay lang din natin yung mga cocoa husk dun sa mga inaka edge ng roots ng ating plant. So, bear with me. Yeah. We have to make sure na nakakover na niya yung pinaka dulo para hindi siya malalaglag. At the same time is that pag naglagay tayo ng coco peat is Ah, hindi malalaglag yung mga coco peat natin. Okay? So, yan. Ayan siya. Kunti 
ating Coco Beat. Lagyan natin. Coco Beat. Isa pa. So we also have to cover the top part of the soil to hold the moisture inside para hindi agad-agad mag-evaporate and also pag natapat ng, natapatan ng init is hindi madadamage so roots ng plant na. So yeah, so after the cocoa peat, yan siya, magiging itsura. Okay. This is for our second plant. This is a fern also. And for our last spot, it will be presented in the normal type of way. So, hindi siya inverted. So, alisin lang natin yung soil niya. Ayan, medyo, ano kasi siya? Malago na siya. Pero, medyo, hindi na kasi siya nag-grow na sobrang laki. So, ayan. So, the soil mix that I have used for this one, you can also use this kind of soil mix. It is from tree bark. Ayan. And then, may mga dahon, tree bark, ganyan. Mga iba't ibang mga soil. And then, may soil kasi pa. So, ahatiin na din natin siya since it's quite big already. just have to look kung asaan yung pinaka main roots niya and then doon natin siya ikakat ayan, if you can see ayan siya, yung main root system niya andyan, pwede natin ikat yung mga anak-anak niya dyan sa gilid This one. So if you will look into it, this is a curly spider plant. So for as long as may roots na siya, it will thrive naman na. So alisin lang natin yung mga yun. Kasi hindi na siya lumalaki. Kasi nakafocus ang, ang ano niya sa may pinaka. So dun sa mga anak niya, nakafocus siya sa mga anak. Ayan. Or we can actually use some scissor. Or a hmm. para mas makuha natin yung roots nila. Like that. Look at it. It's very nice. And then we still have Medyo numipis na siya. Okay. So, eto din, papalitan na din natin siya ng soil mix niya. Pagawin na din natin siyang coco has para mas mabilis siyang makahinga. Okay. Oh, walang butas to. Kasi yun, ibang presentation. sa loob. And then, we're going to put some cocoa paint. And again, 
on top lalagay tayo ng mga ganito sa dating lalagyan yung spider natin